Setting up lighting can be quite problematic. Lighting is very important and is a basic need for any videography. It improves the overall look and can give the picture a little bit more depth. It improves the colour quality and saturation and it can be used as a highlighter. The small rig RC60B is a small neat little piece of kit. It's got its own internal battery and a USB-C charge port but a little bit more about that later. It's a bicolor light, so it has adjustable color temperature. It's got 60 watts of power, which is adjustable from naught to 100%. The fan doesn't give off a great deal of heat, and it's very quiet, especially when it's in eco mode. Well, the light seems pretty powerful to me. At least I'm using it now at about 2%. Um, so it's really quite powerful indoors. So let's have a look and see what it's like outside. Well, we're lucky today. We haven't had sun for days, for a long time. It's been really, really cold and the sun's come out and it's almost like spring now, which is quite nice, but it'll probably change by tomorrow. Anyway, I'm outside and on a day like today, you wouldn't normally think of using a light, I suppose, because it's bright enough to take pictures already. But what the light can do is it can fill in any shadows, like for instance, on my right hand side here or is it on my left hand side, but your right hand side, um, I've got a shadow here. Just by switching the light on here, um, I can kind of alleviate that to some extent. So I'm gonna now turn the light on and hopefully the addition of a light puts a little twinkle in my glasses or in my eyes and it also takes down this part here. That's possibly a little bit too high because I can see my rosy cheeks are beginning to shine like I've been on the booze or something, but um, it gives you some idea if I turn it down gives you some idea of what this would look like in daylight so you could easily use it it's powerful enough to use this light as a fill-in light in daylight with the sun out which is quite handy actually put yourself into a shady area and everything turns a little bit dull and this is where the light becomes the main light rather than the fill-in light and by switching this on it sort of brightens me up a little bit makes me look a bit less ghostly and a little, little bit less dull so I've just put a little bit of light on there and now it's become the main light for me rather than the fill-in and I'm looking a little bit brighter in a shady area. The RC60B is a small but still pretty powerful light as you can see here at a distance of about 12 foot at night time. There are three power presets at 33, 66 and 100% or you can adjust manually from 0 to 100% if you like. With a reflector, it's stronger and more focused. One thing that I didn't like about the unit was it doesn't come with a charger. You look on the back of the light and as soon as you see that USB-C plug in there, you think, okay, I'll plug it in and it'll charge. So you find a USB-C charger, plug it in, and in my case, I left it overnight and it reached all of 60% overnight. You need a very, very powerful charger for this light. You need a 65 watt, and in my case, I got 100 watt, and they're not cheap. So the package comes with the light, of course, a holder to fit onto a light stand that's adjustable. And of course, there is also the little mini reflector. You need that actually, because this isn't a Bowen's mount either. Two charging leads, a long one and a short one, but unfortunately, no power supply. I think that's really bad because I had to buy this. This is a 100 watt supply, which means I can use the light at the same time as charge it. You can get a 65 watt if you want, but this is a 100 and these really aren't that cheap to buy. So you've got to add another 40 quid to the cost of the light really, because you have to charge it. There's also another handle that I'm using at the moment, which connects it either to a tripod or it's a handheld thing. So you can go around flashing it at things that, you know, handheld and run around all in a nice case. For me, another omission along with the lack of power supply to charge it is there is no remote, which means you can't sit somewhere with the camera looking at you, checking your lighting in your monitor and adjust it from a distance. And I think that's a shame. I think its big selling point is its size, its portability, and actually it's very, very quiet fan, which makes it fantastic for video. It's convenience and ease of use. It gives you the possibility of using lights when you've got no power around. What I do really like though is its power. It's a 60 watt light and it's got three presets 
plus another three on eco so you've got six presets 33 66 and 100 percent and you can adjust it anywhere in between and as i say at the moment this thing is being used at about two to three percent or something it's it's a pretty powerful light in fact i've been using the rc60 all the way through this video i hope to see you next time cheers for now <laughs>